Well, I've returned to the apiary today to check in on those two swarms that I hived. Here is hive 25. This is the, uh, the swarm of bees that was on the solar panel. Oh, well, that's marvelous, marvelous activity on the landing board. Those look like bees that have moved in and are making a go of it. Uh, at no point have I seen the queen during the process of, of homing them into this hive. So in the next few days, I'll come in, open up the hive, take a look, make sure that I can see that there are eggs that are uh, being laid. This is hive 30. You will remember this is the hive that I found on the ground almost by accident while picking up the hive that we put into 20 or the swarm that we put into 25 from the solar panel. Uh, as you can tell, these, uh, these bees are pulling out some dead sisters. I was concerned last night that it was cold and it was wet and that they were, uh, they were in some trouble. But in fact, they seem to be doing okay. In all honesty, I couldn't tell you if they were, um, if they are in here and ready to move in and stay, or if they're still going to start looking for a new place to live. We'll have to pay closer attention to the activity we see on that landing board. Here's another close-up look at 25. You can see that these are activity on that landing board includes nascent off fanning. Let me get in a little closer so you can see that. And this is clearly bees who are out foraging and returning with nectar. I don't immediately see any pollen. Maybe if we go back and look at the video, we'll see something a little closer. But this is definitely a hive that's moved in. Okay, so Hive 25 looks like it's uh, ready to start enjoying life in its new home from that swarm on the solar panel. I think uh, 30, the one that we found on the ground, lost a lot, of, uh, a lot of bees. I'm not sure whether it's even interested in staying in that hive at the moment. Uh, so I'll have to keep a close eye on it to see whether or not... Uh, whether or not those bees decide to move in.